y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm Brittany, and thank you for clicking on this video so we are back with another day of vlogmas and the clip that y'all saw before this um my family and i went to st augustine to go to the knights of lights it's um a show or a thing that they put on every year where they light up the city in different areas and they also have like this big call called christmas tree that's um lit up and um everybody takes um pictures around it or whatever so we went out and we did that so but right now i am doing my makeup because i'm about to film a film a um holiday gift guide so y'all go ahead and y'all it'll be out before this vlog so y'all go ahead and check that out if y'all haven't and yeah so i'm doing my makeup for that and i'm watching love is blind season three so let's just get into it because baby season three they they dropped the ball on this one season one they hit it out the park it was it was good the fan favorite couple lauren and cameron like everybody loved them and to this day they're still together like they show us for what we see that they're still happily married season two no it didn't give it, it was not given but season three they just need to end the show after this because it you is to me is is shows are scripted reality tv is scripted to a certain extent but this show here let's just jump into it while i do my makeup face my makeup um let's talk about it so um on the first like i just started watching so on the first first episode the man telling the lady how deeply in love he is how are you telling this lady that for one you never seen but y'all had y'all have had conversations but how are you telling this lady after only talking to her a few times how deeply in love you are with her like what that is so crazy to me how can you be deeply in love with somebody that you barely barely know and i feel like that's how i feel like the, the show is really scripted and they just these people on this show basically to get um celebrity celebrity status and fame or whatever from it because ain't no way how are you how are you telling this lady you are deeply in love with her and she right along with it i love you too i'm in love with you too come on and then the kicker one of the guys i don't remember his name they interview him because he end up um i think he I believe the girl ended up um, not accepting his proposal, so she got turned down. Yeah, that's what happened. And so they was interviewing him. And so they was interviewing him. And before, the cameras were still rolling. And before he started speaking, he took out some eye drops, put them in his eyes, and had the eye drops coming down his eyes like he was crying. And started... Uh, speaking in the interview about what was going on or what happened i say this fool here what in the world what does this show have going on this season like after this season they just need to let it go it's just oh my god i don't know but i was just like i'm gonna go talk to the people about this show because i know it's been out for a while like they don't they don't got married and everything but i just um recently been able to sit down and really watch it and I wanted to come to y'all to talk about it. And I'm just like, yeah, they doing too much. They need to let this show go after this season. But I do want to get, you know how they had a signature, um, like that's the thing of the, their show. That signature of their show, those um, gold wine glasses. I want to get me some of those. I'm going I'm to look on Amazon and see if I can find some that's close to it. Probably not going to be able to find the exact ones that they had. But, um... Yeah, I want to look for some gold wine glasses. That'd be cute. Or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to come to y'all and talk to y'all about that. And I'm about to finish doing makeup so I can film this video. And I'll pick y'all back up a little later. Bye. Hey, y'all. So I just finished filming my content video. Right now, I'm um, downstairs about to go into the kitchen and prepare for tacos. We have a tacos tonight for... Um, we have a taco tonight for dinner. My family loves tacos. We have to have them on the menu once every week. Like, it, it's not a week that go by that we don't have tacos. 
So y'all about to get there, get ready to prepare for that. But first I'm about to take me a um, immunity shot. So let me sit y'all down. I'm gonna do this so good, so you energy shot, and it is the mega spinach one. Come here. I don't like that. Mm -mm. That wasn't good. But yeah, let me go ahead and set y'all up. Okay, so I got my ground beef right here. I'm going to just go ahead and put that in now. I already got the stove on medium high. And my hands are clean. I washed them before I left the camera because I just finished doing the content video. So.
Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. I'm about to make some jello shots. Um, our family is having our Christmas party this year, and this year we're doing the color party. And my little family color is orange. So right now, I'm about to get ready to make some jello shots, and I just wanted to show y'all me making them. This is my first time, so I hope they come out really good. So I got two um, Jello mixes. I got this one, the orange one, and then I got the peach one. I think I'm gonna use the peach one. And then I got some Malibu, some pineapple juice, and these syringes. So first we're gonna start by putting the powder in. I already um, boiled my water. And then you stir it for about two minutes. So I went ahead and um, used the orange instead of the peach because of the color. So now I'm just um, stirring it up until it dissolves. And next, I'm going to take my Malibu. Next, my apple juice. I mean, not apple juice. My pineapple juice. And then give it another good stir. And I'm just gonna take my syringes and fill them up. And they look like this. Okay, so here are the syringes. I only had eight and I still have some, um, I still have some of the mix left over. So I'm just gonna put the rest of it in little clear, small containers. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them in the refrigerator and let them chill. And I'll show you what they look like after they don't chill and everything. Here's my um, orange outfit that I'm going to wear to the party. Um, I have this orange bodysuit that I got from Nasty Gal. The purses from Shein. Jeans are from H&M. Shoes, Nike. And I actually don't know if I'm going to wear this bodysuit because I really want to feel comfortable. We're going to be playing games, all that type of stuff. So I want to be more comfortable. And this bodysuit is a little uncomfortable, especially with the... Um, bottom part being like a thong so i have this let me show y'all this shirt me and my husband have these matching star wars shirt yes the main color in this shirt is black but it does have some orange in it so i might just wear this shirt with the jeans the purse and those shoes so i can just feel a little bit more comfortable but yeah here's the outfit that i'm going to wear to the party Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool 
when all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood i got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in bel-air i baked and pleaded with her day after day but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way she gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket i put my walkman on and said i might as well kick it First class, yo, this is bad Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass Is this what the people of Bel-Air living like? Hmm, this might be alright But wait, I hear the Percy Bourgeois and all that Is this the type of place that they just said this cool cat? I don't think so, I see when I get there I hope they're prepared for the Prince of Bel-Air The plane landed and when I came out There was a dude look like a cop standing there with my name out Something 